Hello everyone, Kingsler Koshi, and welcome back to Dust. I'm actually going to be recording this ahead of time, so the next time you see this, these um, next few parts for this game, it's actually going to be after I'm finished on doing my next LP, which at this point in time you'll probably have already seen it. So that'll make cry. But for right now, uh, while well, I'm still waiting for uh, Coda 9001 and the MJ4106 to come over to my house to do some recording, I'm just going to be doing Dust for the time being and doing as many Steam tiles as I can to fill up my backlog. So let's go back to where we were. In the meantime, we were back in Aurora Village. Yep. I stopped at Aurora Village. And we finished off views and took care of business with... And found out a little bit something about our past, about what we were before. And also, if I can show this off properly. Got a new power. Please let me. Know. I'll keep my eyes open. Much of. <laughs> All right. So for right now. Thank you, Dust. We are indebted to you for your help. Best of luck on your quest. Yeah, the last time we talked to Bram about um, few uh, the serial killer fuse, and now we got to go find Ginger. To get an idea of what we may about what's going on around here. So let's head back. I don't get it. Why would anyone want to help those awful lizard things? That fuse guy burned down an entire village. Don't you understand, Fidget? He wasn't born that way. General Gaius and his soldiers turned him into that monster. And Fuse is likely not the only one corrupted by General Gaius's hatred of the Moonbloods. We should speak to Ginger again to learn more about this conflict. And she should be around here somewhere. Ah, here we go. Oh, you again. Mayor Bram said you left already. Yes, he asked us to stop the leader of these monsters. Turns out it was a Moonblood named Fuse. He'd gone completely insane. Fuse? Oh no. He was leading those monsters. You killed him? So you know him then? Was he always a homicidal pyromaniac? What? No, never! Why did you kill him? He destroyed Denim Village, Ginger, slaughtered dozens of innocent people. He refused to listen to reason and planned to attack Aurora next. I had to stop him. This war is turning all of us into monsters. Thank you, Ben. For releasing Fuse from his madness. Right before the end, he seemed lucid. He told me a few things before he passed. He tried to tell me about the war, about your family. He was there the day my family was killed, yes. He was picking up supplies to bring back to his people. General Gaius attacked her village, burned it to the ground. I thought Fuse had been killed. Now I wish he had. I'm sorry. And why is that? The last time I saw an outfit like yours was the day my family was murdered. That outfit, it belongs to Gaius' soldiers. Who are you, really? I don't know. That is not an answer! Hey, ease off! Dust can't remember, okay? He doesn't even know his real name! You know, you should be more thankful. He just saved this village twice, and I... Well, I watched him do it. And I'm also really hungry! Fidget, please, calm down. She's right to be suspicious. I don't know who I am, but I'm dressed as one of Gaius' soldiers. And that can't be good. Perhaps. But your friend is right. You saved my village twice today. Gaius and his soldiers would never do that. Especially if they knew I was here. Why is Gaius so obsessed with killing these Moonbloods? What do they do? Nothing. They exist. General Gaius sees them as an impurity, a kind of cosmic mistake that he believes must be wiped from this world. Okay, so he's a Nazi. Got it. But it's hard. There aren't many Moonbloods left outside of their homeland, and it's only a matter of time before Gaius wipes them out entirely. Is there anything I can do to help? If only one man could stand against an army. Sadly, no. There's nothing any of us can do. 
any help for the Moonbloods died with my family. Mayor Bram mentioned you were leaving town. Yes. The rivers and streams around Aurora are beginning to dry up completely. Without water, the only thing to do is head north. It's only a matter of time before the others follow me. Why would the rivers all be drying up? It's not like it's been very hot. And wasn't there a big rainstorm a little while ago? I know, it doesn't make any sense. To be honest, I think this whole country is cursed. General Gaius' bloodlust has scorched this land forever. I doubt we'll ever recover. Remember that comment about the water, because that's going to be a little hint to what our next um, area is going to be. If the only way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius, then I need to know where to find him. His campaign continues to the north. If you want to help right the wrongs of your kind, you're free to join me. I'm afraid. Whoa! What was that? It came from the center of the village. <laughs> what are these things? Monsters! Ginger, get down! the last of them. Ginger, are you okay? I'm... I'll be fine. You should go down below and find out what's happening. Alright. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. Stay safe, Dust. We'll meet again at Rowan Pass, at the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. Alright, and before I go to the next area, I'm gonna go back, because... There was a lot of quests that were open. Oh, Dust. We are indebted to you for what you've done for us. Gian and I are just going to rest for a bit here in Aurora. Actually, maybe you could speak with him? He would never admit it to me, but I just know something is troubling him. Of course. Where is he now? He's been pacing near the west entrance of the village, near the field where you rescued us. Thank you, Dust, for everything. That's one. Okay, I know there's another one. Ah, here we go. Oh, hi. You're new. Are you travelers? Maybe you can help me? I can't find my little brother, Corbin. He's not in the village? No, he's not here. I can't find him, and I've looked absolutely everywhere! Don't worry, I'll keep an eye out for him. What's your name? My name is Colleen. Oh, I wonder if he left the village. He could get hurt! Calm down, Colleen. I'll look for him. Where did you see him last? I think he was doing something for Mr. Gianni, but whenever I ask him about Corbin, he says he's too busy. I really don't like that guy. Gianni, huh? Okay, wait here. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. I'm really getting worried about him. Alright, hang on. And there we go. There's nothing we can do right now, so let's just head back. This is a good way to travel, though. Where's Jenny? Wait. Jay can't talk to you, apparently. <sighs> Alright. Nothing spectacular here. I have got dead. <laughs> well now, would you look at this? 
seems our village has got itself a new basement. You don't seem too concerned. <laughs> Trust me, not much happens here. So when things start crawling out of the ground, you pull up a chair and enjoy the show. Okay, Augustine, but promise me that you'll stay here. I don't need anyone getting hurt. Bah! Let you have all the fun? Well, I guess you're the one with the sword, after all. <laughs> like I said, I like Augustine. Uh, so. There we go. Yay! Wait. Do I have enough for... Oh. The blueprints are useless. Oh, wait. Mosca, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh? Is everything alright? We traveled to Denim. It's been burnt to the ground. What? Oh, no. No, no, no! But there was a note. It's addressed to you, from somebody named Sarahi. Sarahi? Oh, thank goodness. She must be alive. She must have escaped. Please, let me see it. What do you think, Mosca? She mentions a place that only the two of us know about. It's a hidden cove not far from here. Please, Dust, go there and see if she's safe. I'll be following, but I'm no fighter. If you insist on coming along, be sure to keep your distance. Yeah, when Dust starts swinging that sword, you don't want to be anywhere near him. Have you seen the screen? He just goes... <laughs> <laughs> and... I can't... I want to ask you about a boy named Corbin. Ah, have you seen him? Where has that foolish boy run off to? I was hoping you could tell me. He must still be wasting time in Ivydale Glen. I just knew I shouldn't have trusted that boy with cleaning my fabrics. Corbin is doing your laundry outside the village? I do not see why this is so difficult to comprehend. But then I suppose you don't have the capacity for rational thought. If you are so concerned, maybe you should go look for him instead of waffling about. Is it too late to burn you? Find him. Right. Then we're going to have a little chat. It's too late to burn to the ground yet. <laughs> Alright, soldiers. Ah. Ah, Dust. Thank you again for your help. How's your leg doing? I think I'll be alright. Just need some time to think is all. <laughs> is there anything else? It sounds like you've got something on your mind. <laughs> it's that obvious, eh? Very well. I haven't told Oneida. But I do believe I lost my pocket watch when those giants attacked us. Hmm. And it's valuable? To me, yes. To the both of us, really. It was a wedding gift from her father. In fact, it's really the only thing we have to remember him by. I think I may have dropped it outside the farm, just before those creatures chased us back here. With my leg the way it is, I really can't be out looking for it. I'll go take a look. Thank you, Dust. Really. You don't know how much this means to me. If I'm correct, though, we can't... Those monsters really tore the place apart. Hey, Fidget, can you use that sixth sense of yours to find Guillen's watch? Hmm, yeah, actually. I'm getting something from down that big scary hole in the ground. Why is it always a big scary hole in the ground? I'll have to get back to you on that, Fidget. In the meantime, we should clear it out for Gion and Oneida. Yeah, I'm gonna need well, a new. I'm gonna need a tech. Wait, do I need a technique actually? Huh, wait. Okay. Okay. There we go. 
Watch. Get. That's I'm just pressing Y. Hold still, man. There we go. That should do it. Or not. Oh, for. Dust. There we go. Watch again! <laughs> Alright. Okay, so I can just... There's what we need. Okay, so we don't need the ability to anything. Okay, so if you can see, I see holes here. Uh, there's holes here, so... I'd assume that we needed... Uh, if you can see the holes... There's an ability that we can have that allows us to go down those holes. Which is basically just a slide feature. But we don't get that until the next area. And Jesus Christ, Dust, can you stay on the goddamn platform? Yeah, come on, we're almost there. Oh. There we go. Alright. Let's get out of here. There's no chair here? Can I actually... Alright, so there's Gideon's pocket watch. What you, got, what you have to do is... I'm just doing a pretty terrible job explaining, but basically what you're going to want to do is use the wince... Uh, this ability here, whatever it's called, the dust storm, and lower it down. And as you can see, there's currents. What you're going to do is jump between the platforms, and the bomb will home in on you according to how the dust storm works, according to the dust storm's direction. So use that to guide the um, bomb to you. And be careful not to hit the spikes, if it hits the spikes, it's instantly going to blow up. And that's also the same thing you got to do here as well. I'm trying to think, is there any... Where's the other treasure? Well, there's just treasure here, but I don't see it anywhere. Unless I need... Like a double jump or something, but... I don't see anything. Uh, and we'll come back here later when I have more abilities. Or maybe it's over here. Oh. Or it could have just been right here. <sighs> Ooh, slime mail. Not much. Not much more defense, but enough to make things a little bit easier for me. So, let me just heal. Alright, we're done here, so let's go to Aurora Village. Yep, yeah, we'll go here. Hi, Gian. You found it! Oh, this is the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me! Well, um, we did save your life, remember? Yes, well, I meant aside from that. 
Thank you so much, you two. I have little to offer in return, but here, take this set of treasure keys. Thank you, Guillen. I'm glad we were able to be of service. <sighs> Having this pocket watch back puts my mind at ease. Thanks, Dust. Alright, that's enough. That's our quest complete. Let me just check. Four slimy spikes and four slimy coats. Alright, I guess without further ado we can just check. Can't do any here. Do any do any here? Is there anything? Hmm. I'll use the po uh, pendant. It's only one luck sacrifice for four defense. I guess that's a good deal. Alright, so where we need to go is below, but there's also a side path, which I'm gonna take. What's all this? These flags are a warning. The area up ahead is among the most dangerous of places. The challenges and creatures within are unlike anything you've dealt with before. Death will come swiftly if you are not prepared. I think I've heard of these arenas. It's rumored they contain precious treasures. Hey, your memory's coming back. Just little bits here and there. Think we should go in? Oh, um, I certainly hope you do. 